Hello and welcome to Dream Infinite Studios tutorial on um, Artboard Tool. This is a tutorial strictly for Creative Suite 4, so if you don't have CS4, you kind of can't really follow through with it because this is like a really significant tool that CS4 um, has added. So if you don't have it, upgrade or you know just kind of watch the video um, later on the time um, when you get it. On in CS4, the Artboard tool is an excellent addition. Um, actually, I think it's one of the best additions to the whole Creative, not the whole Creative Suite, but the Illustrator CS upgrade. We're going to start off this project by opening up a business card document. Um, I already have a pre-existing built one, so uh, I'm just going to use that. But this is the business card. Now, as you can tell, it looks like a normal you know, illustrator document, except the difference is that all these little pieces right here are different artboards, which is cool. Um, why is it cool? Well, it's because, one, you get to have one, only one illustrator file, but three different documents. When you actually print it out, it will print out in three different papers instead of all one, single one. Um, and the best part is it's all consolidated, so you don't have, like, for instance, illustrator, you know, business card front business card back you know you, you can have all in one file now you could have done that before in one document but this is much more of a robust way of working because you can actually set the printer to different options of the way it, it prints now um, in terms of the artboard the artboard tool is located actually on the toolbar and it's actually located right here now when you press that button um, you can obviously see um, everything else kind of gets grayed out except for the artboard and if you press escape it goes back again now when you select each one of these it actually shows a lot of options but we even um, it does not so much option but just trim marks and just like the handles and then if you take a notice um, you see there's numbers on one corner and X marks on another corner these numbers represent uh, pages um, to be honest and then we'll get into that in a little bit and these X mark is basically like a window where you click it and it closes it um, what happens to that thing what happens to the design within it, it just kind of gets spilled off the artboard and uh, it's just something that's on the outside like an element on the outside in terms of Illustrator there's been many times where I will have a doc I will have a artwork for instance like this but on the side, like, I would have these different, you know, colored um, elements to kind of experiment with. Like, for instance, I would have, like, different colors and, you know, seeing what colors, you know, works out for this project and all that. I have plenty of Illustrator documents like that where an object is sitting actually outside the Illustrator artboard. But I just have it just for uh, visual reference or visual aid, you know, just kind of playing around. But I don't want it necessarily on the artboard itself. So yeah, I have a lot of documents like that. But on this one, um, it's kind of like the same thing. If you take away the artboard, it just kind of gets set outside the artboard. And if you want to print it, you have to actually bring the element into the artboard to get it printed. Now, um, going back to the original topic of the artboard, again, when you select the artboard tool, um, it shows you different crop marks, um, as, you can, as you can tell. It shows you the trim mark, the bleed mark, and then... Um, shows you where the, center, the right center is. Um, it really helps you kind of navigate guides right to the middle. Just, just like that. And uh, this, this, it's really helpful with various things. Now let's talk about kind of how it all kind of works out, works in terms of production. Now right now on uh, this business card I have a bleed setting of 0.125. Now if you go to the document setup, <coughs> I have the bleed setting to 0.125 inches all the way um, around. And whenever I change this option, this red um, trimming changes also. Um, with the crop tool, I mean the artboard tool, the crop mark and the trim mark, I mean the bleed mark and the trim mark gets adjusted for you according to the size of what you change. For instance, this is just the visual aid of what the colors that I'm using for this business card is um, the red is has its CMYK setting and the gray has its another. Now let's just change this one just for the sake of it. Let's let's say I want to make this bigger because you know the printer wants it wants a bigger 
color um, sheet. I could change the size, and as you can tell, the crop marks moved for me. So did the bleed marks. Bleed marks stay within the 0.125 range. The, the crop mark is still there, and the bleed mark is still there. Now, if we change to the actual document, as you can tell, when you take the crop mark, you can see the bleed mark is set exactly where it's supposed to um, be set. So during a print prop process, if I take the guide here, this will be exactly the border of where the bleed is going to be. And if I set another bleed right here, it's going to cut along this line, and the trim line will be sitting right here. So the best practice people will know is that, hey, you know, this is where to cut, this is where the bleed is. And it, it, it perfectly align, Illustrator perfectly aligns it for you. So if I change this size, again, the crop marks, the trim, I mean the bleed marks and the trim marks all follow. The bleed um, outline also follows with it. Very, very cool in terms of production. Now, um, Another cool trick with the artboard tool is that when you select it, you can actually duplicate, duplicate it very easily. On this tools up here, you want to make sure this button is selected. If it's not selected, this is what happens. When we go back here, with the artboard tool selected, and then hold um, shift and move it, it moves just the art tool, but not the design within it. Which, you know, could be useful in certain instances, but let's duplicate it. We want to select this and it shows you an option saying move copy artwork with our board. Hit that, hit alt, hold, up, hold down alt, hold down the mouse button, the left mouse button and then drag. Drag it down. Just like that. And as you can see, it duplicated my design for me. We could do it on this one. Again, we don't have to, we don't even need to select all, you know, for instance, or do the old school way of kind of um, selecting everything like this and then kind of moving it along with it, you know? We don't have to do that anymore. We can just copy the whole entire artboard along. The cool part about this is, is it also assigns the new page or the section number for us, which is also, again, very cool. Now, I just did something here, but it's okay. Now, in terms of printing, <coughs> let's print this. Um, the cool part about the printing um, aspect of the artboard is it separates into pages for us. As you can tell right here in this section, it has 505 and it prints it. Here's the first business card, the color um, settings, the second business card, and the duplicate that we made. And it just goes on and on. The best part about this printing option is we can make it automated. We can say print all or print just ranges. So if we just want two of them, we can go back to the, if we, if we just want two copies, or I mean the two two different pages, we just could go range one dash two right here and it'll just print this part, these two parts, but not the color not not the color settings um page. Works just great. It kinda works like InDesign and uh in a way. Um the cool part is you can choose what to print. Um and you could either print all or you don't even have to print anything at all. Um again, it's a really based on, you know, production value and production process um, but it's a really nice addition because you can actually have multiple art documents into one illustrator file and just cr have create a workflow so you can just sit here and create multiple numbers of artwork like this and have different artworks sitting on each of these documents within one illustrator file so for instance if you're maybe doing a stationary system the way I used to work is I used to have a separate file for letterhead envelope and business cards. Now I could have envelope here, business cards here, letterhead here, and all have it in one Illustrator file. And whenever I'm going to go proof it or show to the client or what um, what I've done, I could just print, you know, for instance, if he just wants to see a letterhead page, I could just print the letterhead page. It's a whole new way of production. It replaces the, um, the print kind of like the tool before where you can assign where to print uh, and it's a really excellent way to get um, your workflow much faster and get things get things printed much faster thanks for watching